Good morning, good morning, guys. First of all, Robbie, it was a disappointment against Villa, but Villa are a decent side, there's no doubt about it. So, look, they've got to roll their sleeves up, get on with it. Do you know what I mean? Go out there into Munich, where Ali will be tonight, and, and have a cracking game and get through to take on City and then think about the Premier League as well. Yeah, no, this is a massive game tonight um, for us. Um, the Villa game was a setback, but I, I'm with uh, Ali. You can't write us off um, yet. We've still got a great chance in the Premier League. And um, it's going to be really, really tough today. I'm over in Munich at the moment and looking forward to the game tonight. And I take a lot of heart from the results last night. Both teams that uh, came back last night weren't expected to go through. So we got a great chance. Robbie, you, tell me, on, <clears throat> mate, sorry, it may sound a crazy thing to say this, um, but they did me a little bit. Did Bayern, did Bayern surprise you in the first game? Because, and it's a kind of strange question to ask about one of the biggest clubs in Europe, but just the forum beforehand wasn't great. But I thought, I, I actually, I, I was quite, well, not very impressed, but I was quite impressed with the way they came out, particularly the performance of, of Sani and, and, and one or two of their players. And to that extent, they did surprise me a little yeah, no, they did. Um, they played very well on the night, Bayern. You know what I mean? And I thought, you know, defensively, they were really good. But I think we made too many mistakes in that game. And they showed that if you make mistakes against top quality sides, you're going to get punished. We've got to cut those mistakes out tonight, play our game. And I think we've got a great chance. What about... Um, no, without... Um, what... I don't know the extent of the, the injuries, but just looking at Sky and looking at some of the feeds coming through, it looks like City are at full strength tonight, but Arsenal, Odegaard and Saka, they'll monitor the situation. Is there a chance they won't play, Robbie? Do you know anything about it? Sorry, I missed the last bit, but I think uh, with Odegaard and Saka, I think what I'm hearing is that they're going to be OK. Right. So Because that'd so. be a Certainly massive blow. So. It'd be a massive blow if they weren't, wouldn't it? Yeah, they're vital. They're absolutely vital to us tonight. And um, as I said, I've got, a, you know, I was, I was feeling a bit down after the Villa game. But since getting over here in Munich, I've got a good feeling about tonight. I just feel that uh, after those games last night, it shows. You know, I mean, these ties are not over yet, you know. And I've just got a funny feeling tonight. Tonight's going to go to penalties. I don't know. I've just got that feeling. I think Bayern are going to have to be more on the front foot. They're playing at home. They were very defensive last week and catching us on the counter. I think it might be kind of the other way around tonight. Robbie, tell me, and, and, and we're all experts, myself, we're, myself included, we're all experts after the game. Um, the game at the weekend, did it surprise you a little bit? It did me. He didn't start with Jorginho. And you could, you could, you could also per, perhaps say Martinelli may have been a little bit you know, unlo unlucky not to start on the left-hand side in place of Trossard, who has been doing well. I do accept that. But did the team selection surprise you a little bit at the weekend? Um, we've, well, I think we've lost the line there, Ali. So, um, you, you, so you, you're surprised Trossard started, Ali? Well... Listen, it's one of these things, isn't it? You always look at things after the game. You, you know, if Arsenal had gone and won the game, no one question any team selection. I, I was probably more surprised that um, he dropped Havertz back and didn't play Jorginho. I thought that's what he might have done because I think Havertz has been playing um, some of his better performances, certainly in that kind of false nine. And I thought at the weekend I was a little bit surprised that he left uh, Jorginho. I know he brought him on for Jesus late on in the game. I was a wee bit surprised in that team selection. But Alan, it's like anything else. If Arsenal win the game, we're not talking about any sort of team selection. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, just looking ahead as well. Obviously, Manchester City have got Chelsea in the cup. But um, Wolves against Arsenal is not that easy. But so Liverpool going to Fulham is not that easy either, Ali. You know, that's why I think it's still open. Of course it's open, Alan. Absolutely it's open. The only thing you would see, and the many times have we seen it, out of all all the teams at the top of the league, if there was one team you would put your money on and go in and win seven, eight games in a row, it would be Manchester City, City yeah. because they've done it because they've done it before. Mm. You know, mm. they, they've got previous at doing it and they know how to do it. The importance of knowing how to go over the line cannot be underestimated. Manchester City know how to do that in spades. And I look at the the, the, the performances at the weekend, you know, the, the, there's some poor finishing, particularly from Liverpool. But that's the beauty of the league. 
Alan. It's, that's why it's the best league in the world. Because if you're not bang at it, if you're not 100% focused, or if you're, you're not clinical in front of goal, then Crystal Palace and teams like that will beat you. I mean, the yeah. Aston Villa ones, I don't think it's a massive shock, Alan, because Aston Villa are a good, good mm-hmm. side. They've already beaten Arsenal at home. They've beaten Manchester City at home. They're a good team. And and teams like Palace on their day, with guys like Eze and Alicia, are more than capable of, of, of providing a shock. And they did that at the weekend. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.